K YouTube. We're back with a we had a brief intermission. We had to upload and get some more storage on there. I had to double check and make sure it was moving. So I'm actually gonna start over for this, the bus stop. <clears throat> Ed Cox was driving home from work in a rainstorm. While he waited for a traffic light to change, he saw a young woman standing alone at a bus stop. She had no umbrella and was soaking wet. Are you going toward Farmerton, he called. Yes, I am, she said. Would you like to ride home? I would, she said, and she got in. My name is Joanna Denny. Thank you for rescuing me. I'm Ed Cox, he said, and you're welcome. On the way, they talked and talked. She told him about her family and her job and where she had gone to school, and he told her about himself. By the time they got to her house, the rain had stopped. I'm glad it rained, Ed said. Would you like to go out tomorrow after work? I would love to, Joanna said. She asked him to meet her at the bus stop since it was near her office. They had such a good time. They went out many times after that. Always they would meet at the bus stop and off they would go. Ed liked her more and more each time he saw her. But one night, when they had a date to go out, Joanna did not appear. Ed waited at the bus stop for almost an hour. Maybe something is wrong, he thought, and he drove to her house in Farmington. An older woman came to the door. I'm Ed Cox, he said. Maybe Joanna told you about me. I had a date with her tonight. We were supposed to meet at the bus stop near her office. But she didn't show up. Is she all right? The woman looked at him as if he said something strange. I am Joanna's mother, she said slowly. Joanna isn't here now. But why don't you come in? Ed pointed to a picture on the mantel. This looks just like her, he said. It did once, her mother replied. But that picture was taken when she was your age, about 20 years ago. A few days later, she was waiting in the rain at the bus stop. A car hit her and she was killed. Man. I'm not going to no bus stop anymore. So who was he, uh... Who was he talking to? Who was he going out with? He was kissing a ghost. And he didn't realize his face going through her. They didn't say they kissed. I know. <laughs> if they did. You got all serious with it. <laughs> like, you see her face, he was like... Man, that was wild. <laughs> Okay, now, so today, fifth grade science, <laughs> one of our favorites. Uh, today they did the scientific inquiry, the process of the scientific inquiry. What is it? So I, being me, introduced the class to one of my favorite songs. Was it Jack Hardy? Jack Cartman? Whatever! I'm about to, I'm, I'm about to, tell, I'm about to tell the name. I gotta find the name. Because he's awesome. And this is how I learned it. Wait. Don't copyright us. Don't copyright us. Have you ever had a question about the world? Like, what plants need to grow? Not the one that I had. It's a song, and this is not the song that I had. Yes, yeah, right here. This is 
name? Jack Hartman. He is awesome, especially for learning. This is something that I use in class daily. Shout out to Shout out to Jack Hartman. Scientific method. Experiment A. Science with a question. Trying a solution. Scientific method. That's how you do it. TCI, science, your conclusion. The problem, you end with the solution. For state. State your hypothesis. Identify the variables. Test your hypothesis. Was you right or wrong? Collect all your data. Interpret your data. The job conclusions. The scientific method. It starts with a question. They, they go be tested on this this week. The first day of school, they go be so weak. I hope they learn this, cause what? it is good. Cause it's Jim oh. Hartman and he not from the hood. It is scientific oh. method. Oh, the first day of school, they go be so weak. She said, she said the first day of school. I don't know what it was. I was just going Comment with the Comment down below what y'all heard and what she said. What did y'all hear? Let me know. Should I hit her with a double voice? <laughs> I have to do that to the kids. If you talk in the class, I'm like, get your booty ass in my face. Okay. What? Back to the song. Oh, Do you like this? Okay. Do you list the process of the scientific inquiry? No.
To the what thing? To the 15. Oh, dark glasses didn't get that far. Mm-mm. I don't like From to see if I can find it. From the first page to the 15th page. on here. So, another thing, fifth graders are reading, they're starting off reading the Templeton Twins in the guided books. So, mm -hmm. after school, this will me and Kelsey do, we review what they read, and then we're going to discuss. I'm looking for it. I... Templeton twins have an idea. What's not the one we oh me? That was like so hilarious for us. Again, the prologue was the end. Then it had two questions. Did you like the prologue? Did you like it? Yes. I loved it. Was that it? That's all I gotta read? That's all I gotta do? Okay. So, the beginning of this book, The Templeton Twins, he's going back and forth with us as the readers. Will I like you? Do you like me? Blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. If you don't like me, then what makes me want to talk to you if you don't even want to talk to me? Can I need sex to talk to, my, to somebody who, that don't want to talk to you? Well, he made the book interesting. I like the prelog like the for real prelog and then what was it chapter one what was chapter one about let's just summarize it because i don't want to um, go into the whole thing what was chapter one about uh chapter one was no was it no the real prelog okay the real prelog do you remember oh. what happened yes Pro. Go. <laughs> no. what happened <laughs> the real prelog it was about a professor, and the professor, when he was teaching a class, he had a student he was that he gave a F to, and he really didn't give out Fs, but the student che cheated on exams, a lot of them, and then the student started arguing with him. And then it was a lady who came in and said, with the excitement, the babies are coming! Who, who was coming? The babies. The babies. Okay. And then, and then, he went in, on to the, um, the, the office desk 
thing and told the late uh, another lady the babies are coming and then he went to the hospital he looked inside the window where the newborn babies were and it was a lot of babies in there but them two were bit, uh, side by side with the beds and then it was a thing that said temple thing the mom's last name all of their last names <laughs> and and then after that the prologue in, well he was doing all different types of sounds and faces to try to get the baby's attention out of the deep sleep and after that our teacher came back and we could look up and see what they were that was a good summary to the beginning of the book. So, this is Mama War and Southern Belle Carol, also known as KK Boss Money underscore 227. What? <laughs> KK Ruby underscore KK Boss Money. And meanwhile, KK Boss Money underscore. Where I hear. Hit the warp map. I hit the warp map. I hit the warp map. I hit the.